my game heads out there. This is your boy, the Dread Man, and um, I'm kicking on my homie G4 leader. So we want to talk to you guys today about the PlayStation 4. Now, this 2013 is the year, this is the last year for a seventh generation console. You know, we in the seventh generation, PS3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii. And um, yeah, the PS4 just now got announced, as well as the Xbox 720. And um, some people may say that it's a little bit too soon for us to be having eighth generation, next generation consoles, especially when there's so much content out that hasn't been released for the seventh generation yet. But you know, I'm really excited about this. And uh, all right, what do you think about it? I mean, I'm, I'm on a fence about it. I feel like it's too soon, only because there's nothing wrong with the PS3, and the PS3 still putting out good stuff. I mean, I, think I just got Metal Gear Rising, and they still got so many other good launch titles that's coming out for PS3. So I feel like it's a bit early, you know. Um, but I, I'll still get one. I'm a diehard Sony fan, so I'll still get one. I'm just on the fence about it, though. Especially, did they announce the price yet? Yeah, and I was just going to get into that. I mean, am I going to buy one? Am I going to buy a PS4 when it comes out? Most definitely. Am I going to buy it at launch? Probably not. But yeah. Yeah, but here's the, here's the three biggest issues. I mean, well, the, well, the price, they I heard the price is at the five or $600 range, but issue number one is the biggest one. Is it backwards compatible? Will all my PS1, 2, and 3 games go to waste? I heard it was. Issue number two. Yeah. I hope so. I hope it is fully compatible. compatible. But issue number two, will online gameplay be free? That's a big one. Yeah, definitely. But then again, I, I mean, well, PS3 known for their free online play, but people still gravitate more towards the Xbox 360 because they say it's known not as good. So I think maybe if you do pay for it, they'll put more into it because it's more of a risk there on their part of having people pay for the shit. So I think they might have yeah. us pay for it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, but you know, they said you get what you pay for. Yeah. But here's the third issue I got. The third issue I got is what titles are going to be available at launch. This is why I don't want to buy it at launch. Yeah. I know they got Infamous 3. Um, I'm a diehard Infamous fan, you know. Um, I know they got another Killzone. Never played Killzone before. I don't know who you, who's even playing these Killzone games. <laughs> But yeah, um, so far, the only title that do seem interesting to me is Infamous 3, because I own the other two titles of it. Yeah, but the graphics and the gameplay and the graphics engine for the PS4 is insane. It just blow your mind, kick ass, I mean. Better than PC and games. Also make, yeah, but this also makes you wonder, are we at our limit as far as technology goes? I mean, is this really as far as we're going to progress? Unless they get virtual reality type shit, I think so. <laughs> we at that point where I don't know where how far they can go after this. Yeah, because they had built the PlayStation 3 originally to last 10 years. And it's only coming up, coming up on its what, its ninth year? Yeah. I still, just like the PS, I, I still feel like the PS3 still got life in it. You know, and if it if this oh, yeah. PS4 ain't backwards compatible, that's just going to be another downfall for the PS4. PS3 started doing that too. Well, in the, well, in the beginning, PS3 was backwards compatible, and then they stopped making that model. I just hope with the PS4, they kind of learn from that and make this one P, um, backwards compatible. But I doubt they will do that though. Yeah, I mean, but if they don't, then that means they're going to screw themselves over in the long run and they're going to be shooting themselves in the foot, you know, not making extra money. And they already squashed the rumor about, because you know how there was a rumor about you not being able to play used games, being able to rent games for the new PS3? They squashed that rumor. Thank God that that's not true. Yeah, because I wouldn't have gotten it. If if I couldn't buy used games, had to buy all games full price, I wouldn't have been buying it at all. Yeah. And that's why I've... um, kind of skipped out on getting a Wii U for now because I'm not, I probably won't get a Wii U until either the next Super Mario Galaxy comes out or the next Super Smash Bros. comes out. When the next Super Smash Bros. coming out? They said supposedly uh, spring 2014. They're supposed to have a trailer for it at uh, this year's E3 and I'm really excited about that. I mean, I'm more interested to see what characters are going to be on that game, but we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Yeah. But, yeah. For, but, for, the but, PS, but for the PS4, though, um, like I said, the, the the specs for it look beautiful. The graphics look beautiful. I even heard it has a um, the 
that you can uh, uh, in video capture card so you can record your own gameplay and upload it to things like YouTube and things like that. That's revolutionary right there that is built in. Oh yeah, I mean it's real useful, especially for you know online gamers such as us and everything. Yeah. I mean it's a real useful tool and everything, and it's fully interactive. And I like the well the control design is not that much different from the PS2 yeah. or any other the past generation of PlayStation. But you know what they say: if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's what I said about the PS3 controller. When people say, "How come it's not that much different from the PS2 controller?" You know, can't don't mess with success. You know, but um, yeah, sure. they only got motion control on it too. Like um. Uh, Oh yeah, it's got motion control and it's fully active. It's fully interactive with the PS Vita, which is great. It's got a you know a touch screen on the back. It's fully interactive with the PS Vita system, so that's good. That's real useful. Definitely, because because yeah. I was skeptical on what they were going to do with the PS Vita because nothing was coming out for the PS Vita. But um, will they be able to um play um PS4 games on their PS Vita on the go? Yeah, that was a rumor too, because you know how the Nintendo Wii U has a tablet-like controller yeah. for their system. They have the yeah. It was also a rumor. I hope this is true too that you will be able to use a PS Vita as a PS4 controller. I know, yeah, I hope so too, because like I said, the PS Vita ain't, isn't selling as much. And if they can do this, if this is not a rumor, that would be perfect. That would re- that oh, that yeah. would make the um PS4 look better and um save the PS Vita. Yes, sir. All right, but anyway, uh, final thoughts on this? On final thoughts, I'm on the fence about it. You know, I'll have to see what Sony unveils more at E3 this year to see if um, I'll be buying it at launch. But right now I'm on the fence and I'm still enjoying my PS3. Yeah, I feel the same. But uh, anyway, thank you guys. Thanks to Game, thanks to Game Heads for watching. We'll be back with more Game Talk videos. This has been the Dread Man. Then G4 Leader, signing out. Sign it off.